Just wondering, can you talk first about trying to establish chemistry? I mean, you guys hadn't worked together previously, or no, we had not. We yeah. hadn't met actually prior to the chemistry read of, of this movie, uh, and something that they look for, uh, of course, the most important thing when casting two leads in a romantic Disney movie, whether it be a dance movie or any movie, is the chemistry, uh, and. Um, we knew with that we had amazing chemistry from the second that we met. You either get along with somebody really well or, or, or you don't. Mm -hmm. uh, and obviously that just comes across on screen and, and John Chu and, and the producers, they, they saw that. And we had a good idea at the chemistry read when we were getting mixed and matched around with other actors that if we were going to book this job it was probably going to be together or a different direction. Mm -hmm. and we were very fortunate to be able to have the training that we had in pre-production, which was a month and a half that we got to know each other really well by, you know, ten hours a day of practice and six days a week, so we got to know each other very fast. Very well. mm -hmm. Now, one of the highlights of the picture, of course, is the tango scene. And I'm wondering how far in was it, how far into shooting were you guys used to working together at that point, or was it in the beginning of the shoot? And just talk a little bit about putting that sequence together. Yeah, we actually shot all the dialogue stuff before we got to all the dance scenes. So the dance scenes, it was, it was interesting because we did all the, the training in the very forefront of the film, and then we, we kind of went through all the, the acting scenes first, and then at the end of the movie, of production, we, we started doing all the dance stuff. But the tango was, I think, second it was towards, sequence that we did? It was still towards the end, because of everything being at the right. end. So it was in the within the last, you know, six weeks of shooting. Mm -hmm. uh, and it was um, at the Gotham City Hall in New York, and it was absolutely beautiful. The, the set was one of the most incredibly gorgeous, stunning sets you've ever seen. And uh, it was definitely a breath of It wasn't even a set, it was the real location. There were no sets, but yeah. just, you know, stepping on, that was our set, and it just was the most incredible ballroom. And to, to shoot that together was very special. It's a very intimate moment between the two characters. It's a wonderful moment in the movie because the audience are privy to information that they've only just found out about Natalie and her secret and uh, it, it raises the, the, the stakes with the dance too because you're almost waiting it's a very tense for, moment. you know, it's tense and you want them to fall in love doing this routine but at the same time you're almost waiting for the secret to be revealed and for Luke to find out, so... And for us it was a, a breath of fresh air and con compared to all the other dance scenes that we had to do I mean, this was completely different than the battles that we were going through. Mm -hmm. um, so it, it really gave us a different change of pace. Yeah. Okay. Now, I, also, can you talk a little about the training? I understand there's a lot of martial arts training. And I mean, how does that work? <laughs> yeah. How does that inform inform what you do, inform the dance? Uh, it, well, we did capoeira, which is a Brazilian martial arts, but it's also a dance. It comes from a dance background, uh, which was one of the hardest things that we had to learn. It, I mean, was, it was the most uh, uncommon, probably, for our knowledge that we've never... I'd never even heard of it before, and um, we were thrown in, and we had to learn this crazy stuff. That really, you, I don't know how long it takes to learn capoeira and be amazing at it, but we had to get good at it in five weeks. With three hours a day. Yeah, yeah. It was all basically lunges and squats because that's the, the general move for uh, capoeira is pretty much lunges and squats. Mm -hmm. But uh, <laughs> the training was it was it was quite a process. Yeah, yeah. It was. I don't think we realized going into this film. You say, oh. We're shooting the next big dance movie. It's like, oh, cool, that's awesome. And you know, I trained in classical ballet, and Rick's, Rick's grown up uh, and, and b-boying and, and breaking. And and I don't think we realised at that time that it was going to be quite as intense as far as across the board styles. And we were going to be learning parkour and capoeira and every different unique style of dancing under the sun we had to learn for this movie. Mm -hmm. And uh, I don't think we were quite quite prepared for that. Uh, and and that's what makes the movie its 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 beauty is that it's so different and it's so across the board. So it was a blessing to be able to be trained in all those aspects of dance. Right. Well, wonderful movie, and I really Thank appreciate. You.